Hello friends, Mandy here. I thought I would do something different and fun um, in this video. Um, since I'm really getting back into scrapbooking, like doing um, bigger layouts like I used to a long time ago, I thought it would be fun to do a flip through of this album that I made all about me, obviously about me. Um, gosh, back in 2006, seven, um, and it's held up pretty well. The covers held up pretty well here. Um, I love how I put, like, this is just, a you know, a regular three ring binder. And I just decorated the cover with word stickers and stapled on some, um, some ribbon on the top. Um, and the reason I'm flipping through this is because I just did a new layout about me and I was like, where should I put this? And realized I could put it in this binder because there are empty page protectors still in the back. Um, so anyway, this is just a trip down memory lane. Um, if you're interested at all in that, um, stick around and we're going to go through this album. So, um, <laughs> this is so fun. It's fun for me anyway. I hope this is fun for you to look through. So anyway, the first page in here, um, let me see if I can do this. So <laughs> it's all my high school IDs. Um, and it says big bangs and big glasses, because as you can tell, like every year I had, sorry, it's so shiny, um, bangs and glasses. <laughs> I had bangs, uh, pretty much until, um, I think when we got engaged, I decided to grow my bangs out. But anyway, random Mandy fact. Um, but it says, oh, how fun these days were tennis team, slumber parties, movie nights, first dates, prom 10 years ago. So I made this in 2006. Is that even me in these pictures? While well, these days were fun and carefree, I would never go back. That is still true. I would not go back, but sometimes it would be fun to revisit <laughs> carefree. Um, okay. So this one is my 21st birthday. I love how creative I was with the titles. Um, so obviously I made this, I didn't make this in 99. I made this in 2006. Um, I went back and found some old pictures and um, did a scrapbook page of my 21st birthday. I was so tan, so tan. Um, my college graduation, super fun. There's me and, and Dan, young kids. Um, this one is super like Enneagram 4. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so uh, dramatic, cutting my face apart. Um, <laughs> I scrapbooked a lot of my like favorite things back then. So this one is like purses and clothes that I liked. And I think I, I think I did like a, I think it was like a challenge over on two peas in a bucket. If you remember two peas in a bucket, then you are of my generation scrapbookers. Um, I think it was like a challenge to use a magazine page as inspiration. I think that's what this was, because uh, it's definitely not my normal style. Um, this one is fun, all about me. And there's a tag under the photo um, with like a, gosh, this picture is from 2005. So there's that one. This one is one of my favorites in the book. <laughs> I still love Sour Patch Kids. Um, Mojo Maker is the title of this page, Confession of a Sour Patch Kid Addict. I love this page so much. The buttons and all the colorful paper. There's another one about a favorite thing. <laughs> I used to be obsessed with this Burt's Bees hand cream. Always had it with me at work, at home. Um, dream cream. <laughs> um, again, I just love seeing how creative I was with my titles. It's like I'm inspiring myself to, to scrapbook again. This one, my gosh, look how young and tiny I was at uh, Target. <laughs> and I put some tags from clothes I had bought there. I think those clothes were not from Target, but anyway, that's really fun. All about my favorite color at the time. I loved anything green. I would pull this tag out and read it, but it's on the opposite direction. So we'll just let that be, but Jadeite too. That was in our first house I was collecting like uh, mid-century craftsman type stuff because our house was was a craftsman bungalow, our first house. This one is really fun. I have not lost my love for buttons um, and label maker words. <laughs> this is from 2006. Um, Kitty hugs, marriage, blogging, two peas, two peas in a bucket, creativity, vanilla lattes, Dixie chicks, shabby chic, project runway, target trips. That's really fun. And all of that stuff is still true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not blogging so much, but um, anyway, that's really fun. 
Um, this one is um, quite strength. We had a work retreat, like team building thing at the, at the job I had at the time. And um, we, everybody had a big piece of like post-it paper on the wall and we had to go around and write something nice about each person. And uh, someone wrote this on mine that I had a quiet strength. I don't know who wrote it, but it's always stuck with me because it was such a like awesome compliment. So anyway, and this was back in the day where you had to like take selfies, um, not with your phone. <laughs> so I would like take a bunch with the camera and then see how they turned out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this one is about, this was my favorite coffee shop in town, which is long since closed. Um, but this is just about my love for coffee. So I saved, I saved one of the, um, coffee sleeves and this is one of my favorite coffees back then. So that's really fun. This one is about one of my favorite purses at the time. I used to collect purses like they, I mean, I had so many, um, switched them up to match my outfit, all that jazz. So that's really fun. This one was my 28th birthday. Oh my goodness. And it's my sister and I, and she got me a bunch of scrappy goodies. Fun fact, we still have this um, thermos cup. Um, it's very worn, but we still have it. And I got um, an uh, MP3 player. I was gonna say iPod, it was not an iPod. It was just an MP3 player <laughs> with a cover. So that's, oh my gosh, that's so fun. My 28th birthday. This one, oh gosh, this is just a cute older photo of me. Um, I wish I was still this cute. Those blonde locks and baby blues, I was pretty darn cute. I had very blonde hair until I was maybe like six or seven. Then this one, uh, my last office job, when I got my office, I realized that it was the old break room and it had a sink in it and I was so excited about that. <laughs> I had my little coffee station set up um, and I was in that office for 13 years. So yeah, that was my old office. And then, so this is the last page that I did in here, um, that I have in here until the recent one I did, my 29th birthday. I love these felt um, letter stickers, super fun. And I found a piece of this bird paper in my stash the other day, so I still have some of that. Um, I love how I did the tag with like the button and the ribbon and everything. That's super cute. I remember this day we went shopping for my birthday. This was before we had the boys and we decided that day that we would start trying to have a baby. And I literally was pregnant with twins about a month later. So there you go. Um, <laughs> because I had the boys before my 30th birthday in May. So there's that. And then now, this is the layout I just made the other day with my new collection, um, and I'm 44 now, so that's just a slight jump um, in age, but, um, and I will link this new collection in the description. It's my Messy and Magical printable collection you can grab in my shop, um, but I love how this page turned out, and um, it was just so nostalgic to scrapbook this size again. Um, I haven't... I've been scrapbooking off and on since I used to do these big pages, um, but mostly like traveler's notebook size, or I had a phase where I did um, small like Instagram albums of my boys. So they were like six by six um, pages. Like I would just use a six by six paper pad. Um, but yeah, I haven't done a page this size in quite a while and it was so fun. And so I'm planning to do some more, um, but I just thought it would be fun to flip through this album, um, gosh, lots of fun memories. And it's just kind of reinvigorating me and giving me some um, fresh, uh, yeah, sparks of creativity to um, scrapbook some more. Um, it's so nostalgic. So I hope you have had fun looking through this with me, uh, humoring me on this little nostalgic journey of mine. Um, and I'm going to do, I have a plan for a new scrapbook page that's going to go in here about my recent um, workshop that I taught uh, because it was so much fun and I hadn't taught in person um, since March of 2020. So um, that was a really special day. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, if you're new to watching my channel, um, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start sharing some more videos on here, some more crafty videos. And um, yeah, if you um, are from my generation and you're a scrapbooker and you remember two peas in a bucket and all that good stuff, leave me a comment. Tell me like your, your favorite memories from that time. Um, if you're not, 
you know, you're just as welcome. Um, but it's, it's kind of fun to go back to that, like mid 2000s time warp. Um, it was such a fun time. It was such a fun time for crafters and scrapbookers. So anyway, um, I will stop rambling about my nostalgia and I will let you go. Um, thank you for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.